While Jesus and his disciples were on their travels, they had to go through the country of Samaria. Oh, boys and girls, but the Jews hated the Samaritans. They did not like them at all. This was for a number of reasons. But the biggest one of all was that the Jews believed that the Samaritans have turned their backs on God. So instead of doing what God really would have wanted them to do, and that was to reach out to them, love them and care for them, the Jews chose to rather stay at home and be comfortable. The Jews really did not want to mix with the Samaritans and not even talk to them. So as you can imagine, the disciples were not too happy about having to go and buy some food to eat when they reached the village of Sakaar. Traveling for quite a distance, Jesus really started feeling tired after the long walk they just had. He told his disciples that he would rest by the well nearby while they went into town to go buy the food. Not long after the disciples left, a Samaritan woman approached the well to draw out some water for her to take back home. You see, boys and girls, in those days people had to go to a well to get water. There were no taps in the houses. Jesus turned to the woman and asked her, Please give me a drink of water. She was completely caught off guard because she could not believe that a Jewish man would speak to her. So her answer went something like this. You, you are a Jew and I am a Samaritan woman. Why are you even asking me for something to drink? What do you think Jesus said in response to her? If you only knew the big gift that God has for you, and if you knew who you were talking to, you would ask me for something to drink, and I would give you living water. What a strange thing to say. Jesus just asked her for something to drink. And the woman responded by saying, But sir, you don't even have a bucket or a rope to draw water from the well. How is it that you can offer me this living water to drink? Jesus always cared for everybody. So Jesus said, if you drink the water from this well, you will soon become thirsty again. But if you drink the water that I am offering you, you will never be thirsty again. It will become like a fresh bubbling spring within you and it will give you everlasting life. Wow, what a promise. And obviously she wanted some of that water because that would mean that she never would have to come back to this well again to draw water. But that was not the water that Jesus was talking about. Jesus was actually trying to tell her that just like the water, he gives life. For example, to help plants grow, you need water. And I think also, just like you and I need water to live, and even animals need water. But the special thing about Jesus was that unlike normal water, he would be able to give everlasting life. Then Jesus started telling her about her life, what hurt her, and relationships she had, and who she loved. Jesus told her everything. At this point, she wanted to know if Jesus was some sort of prophet who could predict the future, or know things that only God reveals to them. There was no way that a stranger could know all of this about her. Jesus told the Samaritan woman to worship God in truth and with the help of the Holy Spirit. Jesus said many more things about how we can really praise God and worship Him. After a while, she started to look a little bit more confused every second. I know that the Messiah is coming, and when he comes, he will explain everything to us. Jesus was so happy that she was looking forward to his coming, and he told her that he was something better, something much more special than just a prophet. Jesus told her, 
I am the Messiah. This meant that Jesus had a very special work to do, boys and girls. The work that Jesus had to do was to show us who God really is and how much God really loves us. God's love does not care what color your skin is or what language you speak or even whether you are a man or a woman, whether you are young or old. Real love, God's love, cares for everybody, everywhere. God expected us to also love everybody and care for them, just like Jesus cared for this woman at the well. But Jesus also came to save us from all sin and the sadness that comes along with it. And by so doing, He would help us live lives that showed just how much we love God. Oh, she was bursting with excitement, boys and girls. She dropped everything she was busy with and ran back to town, completely forgetting about her water jar at the well. As she was running, she told everyone, Come and see a man who told me everything I ever did. Could he possibly be the Messiah? The Bible actually tells us, boys and girls, that many Samaritans from the village believed in Jesus because of the woman. They all came out to the well and begged Jesus to stay in their village. So, Jesus decided to stay there for two days so that many more could hear his message and believe. The people from Sikar were so happy that Jesus decided to stay a couple of days and that they could hear for themselves what Jesus had to say. So, boys and girls, the question needs to be asked. Will we love the same way that Jesus loved the Samaritan woman? Are we willing to really share that love with other people, no matter who they are? And I hope that the answer would be yes. Boys and girls, let us pray. Thank you, Jesus, that you came to show us what real love looks like. And Jesus, we pray that you would help us to share that love with everybody around us, that we would care for people, look out for their needs, and not make them look smaller than they really are. We pray that you would help us to always act with the same love that you love the Samaritan woman. We pray this in Jesus' name. Amen. Thank you, boys and girls. Until next time. Bye-bye.